Communication intercepts by Indian intelligence agencies from across the line of actual control, has revealed increased activity and movement of Chinese intelligence agencies, and they are attempting to get more information on Indian army movements and the ongoing border infrastructure upgrade being carried out by India. The movement of these Chinese agencies has been conveyed to the Indian army and the national security establishment at the apex level. The third FOC standard Tejas Mark I aircraft SP-19 has completed its first flight, and it flew for approximately 40 minutes, which makes it the first FOC Tejas Mark I aircraft to have its first flight in 2021, and officials have confirmed that five more FOC standard fighters will complete their first flights by end of March 2021. 15 Akash next-generation surface-to-air missiles are currently in advanced stages of construction, and they will be ready to start development tests in June 2021. The Akash NG will come equipped with a ESA-based seeker, and will have the capability to engage 10 targets simultaneously. It will feature a canister system mounted on a truck for easy mobility, and a truck-based 3D ESA radar system for tracking and guidance of the missile system. It will have an effective range of more than 50 kilometers, which will be increased to 70 kilometers in later stages, that will make it a cheaper alternative to the Indo-Israeli medium-range surface-to-air system. India had decided to use the 98 kN F-414 INS-6 engines on the upcoming twin-engine deck-based fighter, but the American firm General Electric is planning to offer its 116 kN F-414 GE-400 engines, which will give 35% more thrust, and this engine will also be compatible with the engine bay section of medium-weight fighter and the AMCA Mark I. India and UK are all set to announce co-development of an engine to power the AMCA Mark II, and this new offer could be a plan by General Electric to secure more orders for its engines, and to sabotage India's investment in its engine program with General Electric's rival company Rolls-Royce. The British firm Pearson Engineering has announced that the company has been awarded a contract to supply over 1,500 track with mine ploughs by the Indian Ministry of Defence, and it will deliver the mine ploughs in partnership with Bharat Earth Movers Limited, and will be integrated with the T-90 tanks of the Indian Army, that will enable them to move through mined areas. Pakistan has purchased 60 Chinese YJ-12 supersonic cruise missile system at a total cost of $100 million, and these 3.5 Mach-capable anti-aircraft carrier missiles are being equipped on the Chinese JF-17 fighter jets. While most anti-ship systems are launched from a low altitude in order to avoid detection, the 250 km range Chinese YJ-12 is designed to launch from a higher altitude, and it also maneuvers in its final seconds of flight to dodge enemy air defenses. The senior executive vice president of Safran Group has said that the company is considering to establish an engine maintenance repair and overhaul facility in India, with an investment outlay of about 150 million euros. Safran had already established a manufacturing plant, and this facility is expected to deliver 15,000 parts per year from 2023, that will support the LEAP engine's sustained production rate. India will host the Defence Ministers of the Indian Ocean region for a meeting on 4 February, and apart from focusing on security concerns, India is planning to export several indigenously developed defence equipments to these countries. A country-wise profile has been prepared for understanding the requirements of these countries, and not all of these countries have the capability to procure defence equipments from Western countries. A large-scale tri-services military exercise will be conducted next week, under which very high-intensity maneuvers will be conducted by the Andaman and Nicobar Command. 
The exercise will involve the assets of the three services including special forces, with an aim to enhance operational synergy, joint fighting capabilities and standard operating procedures. A Moscow-based think tank has said that China has already surpassed Russia in developing unmanned aerial vehicles warships and hypersonic missiles, which was an area of great pride for the Russian defense industry in recent years. He also added that economic troubles has hampered the government's efforts to infuse more capital into defense research and development, due to which China has a quicker lead in the market. He also said that from being a Russian customer, China is fast becoming the defense competitor of Russia.